What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. You know, on Bleacher Report, this uh, this topic right here is really different compared to any other topic I talk about. But, you know, on Bleacher Report, I was reading the report about John Wall. And, you know, he gets very detailed about, you know, what he went through and everything, you know, and how he, you know, really rebounded from where he was mentally, you know, a couple of years ago. And on Bleacher Report, he talks about, you know, how he had you know, suicidal thoughts and things like that in his life, things that were going on in his life and, you know, basketball not being a part of his life the way it was, not playing at a high level, not being the star player that he was and just not really being relevant to the to the public like he was when he was with the Wizards. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of that plays into, you know, a lot of that factors in when you're playing, you know, at a high level, when you're doing good and everybody loves you or people show you a lot of love. And then all of a sudden, you know, um, injuries start happening, injuries start creeping in, people start doubting you. And then, you know, eventually you start doubting yourself because other people around you are doubting you and your your talents and they're they're not on the same page with you anymore because you're not playing at the same level, you're not producing and on top of that, you got other things going on in your life that has happened and you, you're dealing with the outside world as well, along with social media and everything like that. I mean, it could be tough, you know, so to hear John John Wall come out and speak on his situation about, you know, how he was having those type of thoughts and going through those type of things. It's it's real because, you know, you don't hear players, you know, give you the real like that too often. You hear a lot of players, you know, um, just keep it professional the whole time. And that's good, too. That's good if you can do that. That's real good if you can do that. You know, just every player is not able to do that because, I mean, life is hard at times. And some express themselves by saying it. Some express themselves by keeping it in and being strong. And either way is fine with me. You know, if you need somebody to talk to about your issue, then that's fine. You know, because if it's bothering you that bad, then it needs to be said. You need to vent. And I feel like, you know, John Wall was at more of a venting stage, you know, with the comments that he made about, you know, him and his suicidal thoughts. And, you know, the crazy thing with John Wall is, you know, he talks about how he had the injuries and the Achilles injuries and everything like that. And then at the same time, while he was going through that, you know, his mom got sick and, you know, she passed in 2019, I believe. So and you know, then the COVID thing and all that stuff happened in 2020 and, you know, Kobe Bryant, everything, you know, just just, just everything, you know, hit him at once. And, you know, when those type of things happen, when life hits you like that, you know, a lot of things, you know, are in front of you. Reality is in front of you. You face reality. You face your fears. You look at your, you know, your demons and your, your, um, you, you got to take a look in the mirror. You got to see what you need to see to improve and you got to find a way out of it. And that's one reason why, you know, for me to say all I just said, you know, and talk about what I just talked about, I, I said all that to say this, you know, I can't wait to see John Wall really hoop because when he hoops again i think he's going to take a lot of you know the frustration and the 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 ire the agony the pain and all that he's going to take all that out on the basketball court and if he does that the clippers could have them a very very good point guard that a lot of people might have missed out on simply because you know they didn't know what type of player he would be and they didn't want to take chances on him because he didn't seem like he might be the player that he once was and i can understand that because you know when players don't play in a while it's hard to take chances on them like that because you don't know what they're going to bring to the table you don't know what type of player they're going to be you don't know what type of mental state they're in so the clippers took a chance on john wall in unlike any other team of course because he's on the Clippers and um, I really hope that he balls out this year because you know listening to what he went through as a player and you know um, him telling his story the way he did or the way he's you know telling it now you know to let the world know 
to let the world in to his brain and what he was thinking and how he was, you know, going about his business every day, even though he was going through a lot. It tells you how strong of a player he is and the strength that he has as a player that is, that's undeniable based upon what, you know, he was talking about and him um, letting his feelings out about his situation. So, you know, I got to give John Wall some respect for coming out and venting about it, talking about it, getting it off his chest, because I feel like that's only going to make him a better man also and um like i said i can't wait to see him hoop because i feel like you know he's gonna take all this and use his motivation go out there and you know play his harness and play his best and you know show the world he still can really ball and if that's the case then the clippers got a very very good point guard in john wall and they have a very good opportunity of winning a championship if he can play close to what he was several years ago you know as the star player and all-star player that he was so i mean let's see what happens you know let's see what you know high season pans out but i'm rooting for the guy you know just hearing this and you know seeing you know what he been through the last couple of years i'm definitely rooting for the guy i'm definitely you know hoping that you know he has a a, a, re, a restart to his career he can hit the restart button and uh, go out there with the, kick, the clippers and, and ball out because not only the clippers need him to but honestly listening to him in his situation he really needs to go out there and have a decent year himself so he can take a lot of the stress off his brain and release a lot of that because that's the only way he's going to release a lot of it because when you're a basketball player that's his passion and that, that's how a lot of times basketball players release their issues by going out there on the court playing at a high level so I hope that he finds a way to do that I hope that um, you know the underdog finds a way to be on top in, um, in this situation which is him and I uh, hope that uh, the ultimate you know the, the ultimate thing for John Wall, of course, is to play at a high level and get comfortable with basketball. But if he found a way to win a championship with the Clippers, I mean, I think that would be one of the ultimate satisfaction for him, you know, based upon what happened the last couple of years. And I think it will, you know, give him a, you know, complete him. It'll make him feel like, wow, you know, I lost some things in life. But I also gained some things by rebounding with my life and getting back into basketball and doing things that make me happy. And um, hopefully, definitely basketball does that for him still. And we'll definitely tell when he gets on the court. But hey, that's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section. Check out my other videos if you haven't. And hey, Cali out.